Section 9.7, Identify and Perform Dilations. We've talked about dilations before. Recall dilation either reduces or enlarges the original shape, producing an image which is similar to the pre-image. So no matter what our shape is, what we're doing is we're taking it and we're either making it bigger or smaller. When we do that, we get a similar shape. The important thing is that these shapes are not congruent, which means for the first time we're encountering a transformation that is not an isometry. So a dilation is not an isometry. You might want to make a special note of that somewhere. All right, dilations have two parts. They have the center of dilation, and this is the point. Let's get a good definition for this here. It is our point about which we enlarge or reduce. And this point always stays in the same location. To keep things simple at this level, level, we're only using a center of dilation about the origin. The other part of dilations is the scale factor. And scale factor is the factor by which we enlarge or reduce. Usually we give this a variable of k. If k is between 0 and 1, then your dilation is a reduction. So if we have 1 half or 1 third, 1 eighth, 2 fifths, all these fractions that are smaller than 1 are telling us that our shape is reducing. It's getting smaller. If k is bigger than 1, if it's 1.5 to 20, 9 billion. Our dilation is an enlargement. Let's look at an example. In the figures below, you're going to identify the dilation. First of all, you're going to find the scale factor. You're then going to tell whether dilation is a reduction or an enlargement, and find the value of x. So you're doing three things here, finding the scale factor, telling whether it's an enlargement or reduction, and finding the value of x. In this first example, the distance from A to E is 15. Try to work this out on your own first, and then resume the video when you're ready to check your answer for this first one. Okay, so we see that the entire distance from A to E is 15, and in fact, E is our center of dilation. All right, we are going from A to A prime. Notice the blue figure is going to the red figure. It's getting smaller. This is a reduction. If the distance from A to E is 15, then from A prime to E is only 6. So we're going from a distance of A to E of 15 to a distance of 6. This is a 6 to 15 ratio, which reduces down to 2 fifths. So it's a reduction, and K is 2 fifths. Because this distance here from A to E is 2 fifths of the distance, or A prime to E is 2 fifths of the distance of A to E. And then lastly, we wanted to find the value of x, which we already did. x equals 6. There's our three parts. It's a reduction, our scale factor is 2, fi two fifths, and x is 6. Your next example is similar. Again, we have two figures, an original and then a dilation. I want you to figure out the, whether it's a reduction or an enlargement, the scale factor, and find your value of x.